you know in south africa sometimes you can think that we are living in a movie it's a movie the things that are happening in our country because it seems like that's what it is today i want to play to you a clip and this clip is very concerning based on what uh, the people that were interviewed were saying these are operation to do people you remember the president of south africa mr sir ramaphosa advised people's puzzle shop owners whether foreigner or south african that they must go and register their businesses within the upcoming 21 days so operation to do people are blocking foreign owned puzzle shop uh, owners uh, to not register their businesses they are standing in the offices of the municipalities where people register and when the foreigners come they chase them away they don't want foreigners to register their businesses of course they can justify it they will justify it and if you want to hear what they are saying listen to this they have rejected President Saul Ramaphosa's call for all spaza shops, including foreign-owned ones, to register their businesses. Our Lumka Bekindawa has more on the story. Lumka, good morning. A great deal of anger where you are. Just share with us some of the sentiments from the community, but also some of the community activists that have taken this on. Good morning to you, Imani. We have seen the community members and some supporters of the Operation Tudula chasing out the foreign nationals. They were chasing out from inside these government institutions where they were registering their businesses. They say that they must go and register their businesses in their own country, not here. They are not supposed to continue with their spaza shops. Now, the foreign nationals, if, you can, if I can just step out, they were standing next to those trees, if you can see. They were standing there and the community members of Soweto, they chased them away, saying that they must not be allowed in these government institutions. But now we still have the community members and the supporters of Tudula operation. They are angry, saying that these people have been killing their children. They don't want them to be part of the all, of any business opportunity that comes in, our, in South Africa. But now let's bring in one of the organizers of Tudula operation, who's going to tell us more about why why they decided that this morning they are going, going to come here and chase away all the foreign nationals. Buti, thank you so much for your time and welcome to Newsroom Africa. Today we are here and the members of Tudula Operation are very angry with the community members. Why are we here? Why are you so angry? And also, you, know, you don't want these people, the foreign nationals, to register their business. Why? Uh, we, are, we, are, we are agitated and we are very disappointed uh, by the leaders who were supposed to lead this country properly. Uh, we, are, we are cross because uh, during the week the president addressed the nation. Instead of resolving the problems that are affecting South Africans concerning these uh, shops that are run by foreigners from different countries, instead of the president taking a decisive action and implementing it, he took a wrong decision to say foreigners must be allowed to register businesses. These jobs, these shops must be reserved to be run and operated by South Africa, as is the local economy, it's our livelihood. Then we are puzzled to say, in the past uh, uh, few weeks, NICOC, Joint Intelligence and All Operation, they even included the, whole, the health department where they were trying to, to trace the source of this poisoning. And it's highly puzzling to say the president after such an advice after he saw what is being happening all over the country decided to issue a statement and allow foreigners to operate businesses as operation rodola as the community who are here to oppose that no foreigner will come to ucb today and to register a business these businesses must be reserved for south africans that 500 million that was reserved by the president must finance the south africans who are here who can run businesses the president and other stakeholders of the government must come to us as community members, as community leaders. We will show them South Africans who are operating tax shops in all different townships. We are saying to the president, we are saying to the ANC-led government, to the GNU, reverse the decision that we have taken. South Africans, we want to own our own economy. We can operate shops. We can go as a South African member and operate a shop in Zimbabwe. I can go to Ethiopia and Bangladesh and operate a shop. South African government must put South Africans first. We, we, we will march also to the Union building and deliver our grievances to say the decision that was taken by the president it is wrong. Thank you so much.
Thanks a lot. That's it, Imani. But now let's bring in Ugogo. She's been, she's been here complaining that government is not considering their children and their lives. Ugogo, you are here this morning. You decided to close down the gate and the community members are here complaining that all the foreign nationals must not be allowed to register their businesses. Yes, it's true. We don't want them here. We are not going to allow them to open the shops here yeah, or sell everything. And we don't want them to be registered. We want them to go away because we, the South African, we can't do anything because of this. We can't even sell. Just now our children are dead. We don't know what's going on since they come here. So we, we are not going to allow them. We have seen them coming in a couple of minutes minutes ago they were inside and you chased them out and seemingly some of them they don't want to go. What yes. do you say We are trying to chase them. We took them out but some of them they don't want to go. They are busy running here. Some of them they are inside that they, they don't want to go and the police here are chasing us. We are South African. We have to go out but those people they must go in. We are not going to allow it. We can rather die if they arrest us. They can arrest us now. Thank you so much, Gogo. That's it, Emani. Um, the community members are very angry. They just chased out all the foreign nationals saying that today they are not going to register here. They are not going to allow them to come inside. But now there's going to be a meeting with the community members and uh, some government officials that are inside this premise. That operation to do the people for you. I don't have much to say about this because it's now starting to get boring this conversation it's always back and forth back and forth it's been happening for ages it's not a new thing it's been happening you know people came spoke against foreigners foreigners continued like this thing is not new and i don't think these people will ever threaten foreigners to stop their businesses because they are investing in the economy whether you like it or not they're investing in, 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 in the economy, in the township economy too, in the Josie economy too. They're investing, they've invested, they have beautiful houses where they've invested, staying in nice places in Masantin, Bryston. It's usually Indians, foreigners who have that kind of money. It's not majority of our people, you see. So, I don't know what more to say because it seems like it's gonna end up getting to a point whereby it becomes violent and that's where I don't want this to go because it's gonna end up being violent people are gonna end up attacking each other and attacking each other I mean these ones and these ones are taking each other not one are taking the other both sides are taking each other and you know what that means people are gonna get hurt people are gonna uh, be buried six feet under People are going to be arrested. People are going are gonna to feel the pain, whether these ones or these ones. So it seems like with how things are going now, it's going to end up getting to that point. It's going to end up getting to that point. And trust me when I say this, it's going to get to that point where it becomes too violent. And if you are South African and you think you can bully these foreigners and they're going to stand there and allow you to bully them. They are going to retaliate. They are going to retaliate. The human beings, they are also going to want to defend themselves. There's still laws in South Africa. There's still human rights in South Africa, whether you're a foreigner or not. And everyone has a human right to defend themselves. So, it's going to be this one against this one. And also, but it is what it is. Thank you very much.